Yo, what's up guys, Sijiko Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm actually super excited guys because I have a few things to announce and actually just to um, yeah, show you guys because actually today the new kind of like an update went live, actually pretty big update to win us. Um, a few things, but actually the things they, they change are actually pretty huge. Uh, for example, now if you guys can see, if you click on info, you will actually have a completely different look. So in my opinion, this is actually amazing, like great job uh, yeah, by Clash Royale team. As you guys see in the first, um, yeah, kind of like animation or I don't know how to say it, like a small video on how the card looks, what it does. For example, with Tornado, you can actually see, for example, um, them pulling a Hawk Rider towards the King Tower with the Tornado. So, yeah, in my opinion, super great job, as I said, by the Clash Royale team on this, adding that. And this actually has uh, three things. Like the first one is animation. In this case, for example, the Hawk Rider being pulled to the King Tower. The second one is the stats of the cards, for example, in this case, like damage, targets, radius, etc., duration. And then the third one, also a new, um, how to say, like a description. So that's actually really cool. Not necessarily, to be honest, actually a really big uh, thing, but it was just like one thing, like for example, um, in the update, it was just like one sentence saying this, um, that this will be changed. But of course, like all the cards are changed like this. So definitely a really big thing uh, what changed. Also guys, which they actually added today, they already had this in um, Brawl Stars. I, be I believe they also have this in Clash of Clans. But actually today they announced the creator boost code. So you can actually support the Supercell creator by entering their creator code. So I actually also have a creator code, guys. If you guys would like to support me, you can actually enter it. Surgical Goblin, as you guys see, it's um, yeah, one sentence, no space or anything. Capital S, capital G. And then also it actually works for any um, yeah, gem. Like if you buy gems, it works for a, a special offer. And it also works for the battle pass. So feel free to use my creator code. I also put it on the overlay as you guys see, um, yeah, above the Team Liquid logo. But anyways, guys, in today's video, I will actually be playing with this Laugh Out Miner, kind of like a beatdown slash control deck, just because both the offense and the defense are super solid. And I actually have arrows in this deck. Actually, arrows got uh, buffed today, and they are super good, guys. They can counter wall breakers. Obviously, that's a negative trait, but in my opinion, like wall breakers almost are always a negative trait, especially if they have, for example, minor tanking. Um, you can kill, for example, now guards and just in general, like they actually deal quite a lot of damage on tournament standard. They actually deal, um, yeah, 108 ground tower damage. So there's actually quite a lot for a three elixir spell. And then at, um, yeah, like maximum in this case, ladder 156. So definitely not a bad at all. In today's video, I will actually be playing on ladder. I'm at 6,682 throws right now. So not that high, not that low. And also guys, I actually made a new clan. It's called Goblin Gang. So feel free to, uh, yeah, join it guys. Not sure how long I will be able to stay here, but I will actually try to yeah make a clan because I've seen quite a lot of people ask me to make a clan. So feel free to join it, guys, and hopefully you guys um, yeah, can maybe play some, like, let's say, 2 vs 2 with me, or I can share some matches, or in this case, like, whenever, for example, right now I'm recording a video playing Leather, you guys can just, uh, yeah, spectate me through the clan, so feel free to join. Looks like we have a first match, guys, looks like we're already up against Floyd Mayweather, so let's give it a thumbs up, and let's give it a good luck. This will be a good match, guys. Looks like he started with Skeleton, so Skeleton, okay. Looks like he started off with his Collector, so I was about to say Skeletons could be like a quick cycle deck. But Collector kind of tells me that it's either like a 3 Musketeer deck or maybe something else. Hopefully he has Main Horde, that would, be, uh, that would actually be insane guys, because of course Arrow... Okay, looks like he actually has um, a Lava Hound. So interesting, there's Skeletons, Elixir Collector and then Lava Hound. So let's see if he has something like Minions or Main Horde, which uh, of course then the Arrows can get value. If not, okay, looks like it might actually be a clone deck. So I'll actually wait with the Arrows... I'll actually see if the Inferno Dragon will kill it. So let's actually go with arrows right now, guys. And as you guys see, the arrows kind of have like a three. I don't know how to say that. Like, um, you see kind of like three times the arrows flying. They actually change that. So in this case, they will also, as said earlier, they will actually first um, hit the guard shields. It will not kill it yet. Then the second kind of arrows will actually kill the shield. And then the third will actually kill the guards. So I'll actually end up taking just the baby dragon, guys. Could be, or I could go with the baby dragon uh, myself, but I feel like I'm actually low. Well, not necessarily low on elixir, but I'm actually behind on elixir just because he still had his collectors there. So I just, um, yeah, take a little bit of damage, especially because I already dealt quite a lot of damage. Like, obviously, his riser tower is down to um, 1,289 HP. So let's go with the inferno dragon over here again to be able to kill the lava. I'm not sure if he has clone. Is he, if he does, we can actually, yeah, I'll actually go with a poison over here. I was about to say, I'm expecting him to clone, so not the best poison, to be honest. I actually missed one of the flying machines, but still a great poison value. I'll actually uh, not arrow the... 
pops over here, I'd rather go with a baby dragon on offense. And as you see, that should be tower down. Maybe the baby dragon was actually overcommit because as you see, the lava pops were already able to take down the tower. But yeah, the baby dragon will just get some chip damage on the king tower, I guess. Uh, looks like he goes with his baby dragon again. So I feel like he might actually go with a lava hunt up high. We do need to watch out right now. Looks like he does actually go with lava hunt up high. Um, he might go with his... Okay, looks like he goes with his flying machine. Let's actually go with inferno dragon to be able to kill the baby dragon. And let's then go with a poison... Uh, predicting the clone looks like he didn't drop it but anyways even if he goes with a clone feel like arrows is actually super good against clone right now let's actually see because this will be interesting to um yeah try let's actually go with a golden cage let's have the arrows ready wait for the lava hound to pop and let's actually go with arrows right now so as you guys see arrows are actually insane against clone guys uh unfortunately baby dragon was able to splash onto the tower but i think we can actually win this 20 seconds left i don't think this guy has a big spell let's actually set up an inferno dragon on defense Let's have the poison ready. Let's go with a poison right now. Let's go with a baby dragon as well. Um, let's go with a cage as soon as we can to be able to block everything. But yeah, anyways, even, yeah, I guess the cage is good because he just went with a lumberjack. But I was about to say, even though um, the cage will block it. Anyways, the pups wouldn't have been able to reach to the tower. So that will be a great um, game to start off the episode with. Let's give it a good game. Let's give it a wall plate. And let's give it a thumbs up. So as you guys see, arrows are actually super good, guys. In this case, it was actually able to kill the clone. Like, for example, the cloned Lava Hound. But then because of the buff, it also killed the pups, like, spawning after, of course, the cloned Lava Hound died. So that's actually insane, guys. Super good, um, yeah, buff in my opinion. And I'm not sure if they are OP, like the arrows are OP. But they will definitely be fireball and they will definitely be seen more often. So I would say let's open to the second match, guys. Let me know if you guys have already tried out, um, yeah, deck with the arrows. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any suggestions like what decks arrows you think are good in of of course in my opinion lava hound is good because let's say they have minions you can protect your lava hound with it let's say they have um i don't know even a mean horde of course arrows super good and then also with for example the miner like let's say we know they have guards i send the miner i can actually go with a miner um while the lava hound is tanking and then arrows will actually kill the guards this way the miner will actually be able to stay alive and get even more chip damage so looks like he goes with his baby dragon. I would just go with my baby dragon myself. Already went with a cage. Cage, in my opinion, is actually a pretty good starting play just because it's kind of like a passive play. Uh, okay, good lining on his part. Yeah, I guess I would just take the damage. Maybe should have gone with Inferno Dragon, but didn't really want to waste my tank killer because after seeing a lightning could definitely be, for example, a golem could definitely be, for example, um, okay, bad guards. That was actually not necessarily lucky on his part, but yeah, unfortunately for us, he was actually able to hit the guards as well. So let's actually set up a lava hound. Looks like he actually has um, furnace. So having baby dragon furnace, lightning could be definitely RG. Not sure though, but I think it's RG guys. So let's see what else he drops. Let's actually, okay. Looks like he gives us a pretty good poison. Um, don't really want to go with my inferno dragon yet. Just because I'm pretty sure he actually has an electro wizard. So if he does actually go with electro wizard, um of course the inferno dragon won't really do much let's actually go with a miner over here. looks like he has a valkyrie so interesting okay there you go there's the guard so even though this of course don't really kill doesn't really kill the baby dragon or anything this is actually the perfect example as i said before in this case the arrows actually kill the guards and because of that the baby dragon actually is able to lock onto the tower we do need to watch out i don't know okay i was about to say i don't know if he has royal giant I'm just praying that he doesn't have enough elixir for Electro Wizard or Zap. And as you guys see, he already puts a crying face. So the Inferno Dragon will get insane amount of value. Obviously, the Royal Giant was able to get two hits. But imagine him having Zap. The Inferno Dragon probably would have died. And it probably would have been Tower. So insane value over there. Um, and killing the Royal Giant and killing the Baby Dragon. So Inferno Dragon, definitely really solid uh, card. Let's actually go with a Poison for his Furnace. Um... Okay, I guess I can just... Yeah, I would just cycle Baby Dragon in the back. Or no, I guess I can go with a Lava Hound because he goes with his Mega Minion. Um, and I will definitely try to keep my cage for his next Royal Giant. Do need to watch out with the Poison value, of course. Or with the Lightning value, excuse me. Let's actually go with... Okay, looks like he prepares to go. So in this case, or the arrows are insane because the guards actually... Yeah, don't do anything. They instantly die. And of course, then we can go with um, guards on our own. Looks like he does go with a look. Doesn't really matter though, let's go with Inferno Dragon for the Baby Dragon. Let's send the Miner towards the tower to be able to tank for everything there. Great poison value hitting the tower, the guards, Mega Minion. And I think, no, it didn't hit the Baby Dragon, but anyways, doesn't matter. The Inferno Dragon is already able to kill it. Um, and that's definitely almost our down 18 HP. So yeah, we should be able to win this one, guys. Let's actually go with a Baby Dragon. Let's actually go with um, Golden Cage. He'll probably go with Lightning, but anyways, that shouldn't be Tower or maybe... Okay, no, I was about to say, maybe if it gets another hit. But anyways, even if he was able to take down a Tower, we will be able to take down his right side Tower. And look at his left side Tower. Didn't even notice it, but his left side Tower is at 1,364 HP right now. 
um, because of the brawler from the goblin cage so i didn't even notice that but the brawlers actually really um get strong guys if you ignore him after using him on defense like uh if they ignore it like after you use on defense the brawler just gets so much value i would say let's open to the next match guys 6744 trophies already so definitely going really good and as you guys see the arrows definitely work really well in this deck so let's see what kind of matchup we get this time let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so we have Inferno Dragon, we have Lava Hound, Cage, Baby Dragon. Next card is the Miner. So yeah, if he doesn't really drop anything, I guess I can just set up a Cage. Um, if not, I mean, I guess it's fine to wait until Double Elixir. Also guys, I think right now they added the 5 minutes. Not sure if it's live right now, but I think it is. That the last, like there are now 5 minute battles instead of 6 minute battles. Um, the first 2 minutes like normally. Then also the last 2 minutes, or the next 2 minutes like Double Elixir and Overtime. But instead of having 6 minutes, 5 minutes as set, and the last minute, so the 4 to 5 minutes, is actually triple elixir. So I'm not sure if they uh, added that already, but if they did, that would actually be insane. I think that actually would be really good for this deck as well. So Knight could be a lot of things. Knight could be, for example, the Graveyard deck with Ice Wizard. Um, looks like it might actually be the deck with Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon. Looks like he puts a Crying Face, so not sure... Yeah, this would actually be a pretty good laugh in my opinion. I'll actually go with a minor over here to be able to hopefully tank for... No, I was about to say hopefully tank for the Baby Dragon. There would actually be a really good tornado on his part. So we'll play on his part by doing that nato. Um, but the miner might actually be able to kill the Ice Wizard. Hopefully it... No, almost killed the Ice Wizard. Um, bad Baby Dragon on my part to be honest. Shouldn't have gone with the Baby Dragon there. But anyways, it's fine. The Ice Wizard died. The, Infer uh, the Baby Dragon on his part died. And of course he spent the nato poison. So I think we're about even... Um, yeah, on Elixir, he already calls good games, so we actually have a pretty good matchup over here, guys. Even though he does have Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon, Tornado, Poison, the Inferno Dragon in this matchup just gets so much value. So if you ever face this matchup with this deck, uh, I guess I can go with Arrows over here to be able to kill the Barbarian. So as you see, the Arrow is definitely pretty cool on the uh, animation right now, like having kind of like three Arrows. Um, not sure how to yet yeah, describe that. Let's see if he goes with his Graveyard. Looks like he does, so let's actually go with an Inferno Dragon over here. Let's go with Guards. Do need to watch out because we just used our Arrows. But I think it's fine. Guards are actually a really good counter to um, to Graveyard. Let's actually go with a Baby Dragon. Thanking for his Baby Dragon. And I think we can just set up another Lava Hound in the back, guys. Looks like he still needs to defend all of that. So let's actually go with uh, into the same lane with the Lava Hound. Looks like he goes with his Baby Dragon. So that will be perfect. Lava Hound will actually end up tanking the Baby Dragon, I think. If he goes with a Graveyard right now, um, because we don't have Guards in Cycle. Yeah, I can just go with a Poison Defense. Um, definitely don't be afraid to, okay, looks like he actually went with a poison on offense, so pretty big mistake on his part, and I think this might be a good game. I would actually like to see the arrows interactions against, um, the tombstone over here. Let's see how much damage it does. So, looks like arrows actually almost killed the tombstone. So, if you wait around, like, let's say, two or three seconds, in that case, I would have actually been able to kill the, um, okay, looks like nice poison value on his part, but still so much damage, and I think that's a good game, guys. I can go with Lava Hound, uh, yeah, at the bridge, but also that will be tower. As you guys see, so that was actually really good, or that's actually really good to know. Uh, what I want to say, if you wait, for example, two or three seconds, um, or a little bit longer, with the arrows on the tombstone, I'm pretty sure it would actually completely kill the tombstone, and in this case, it would actually damage the um, Ice Wizard also pretty much, so arrows are definitely, definitely really strong, guys. Uh, since we're doing so well, I think I'll just do one more match. Hopefully, that will actually put us at 6.8k trophies, and that would actually be an awesome episode. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, and let me know what you guys would like to see more in the future. Um, and also, guys, quickly before I forget, tonight I will actually stream on Twitch. I will actually um, yeah, stream, I think, around 8 or 9 p.m. European time. I'm from the Netherlands. So, yeah, if you guys don't know what time zone it is, just Google it quickly to be able to see what time it is in your country at that time. Um, but also, I will, of course, tweet it out. So make sure to follow me um, yeah, on Twitter or check my Twitter at Surgical Goblin. I'll be tweeting out when I go live and for how long and what I will do, etc. So make sure to check that out. It will probably be around like two or three hours um, later when I upload this video. So hopefully you guys will be able to make it. Anyways, looks like he zapped our Goblin Cage. So I decided to just go with a Lava Hound already. Um, looks like he is Sparky. So in this case, Arrows not necessarily um, yeah, might cost us the game. Because if he has, for example, like Main Horde, that would actually be awesome for us. But, of course, having Zep against Sparky definitely would help a lot. So, looks like he goes with his Baby Dragon. I'll actually go with my um, guards over here. Unfortunately, I didn't have Inferno Dragon in Psycho yet. But, as you guys see, the guards are actually doing a pretty good job at countering the Sparky. Looks like the Sparky is able to lock on. So, unfortunately, as I said, in this case, arrows might actually end up costing us the game. Just because right now we don't have... Um, 
Okay, looks like Unfortunate Electro is, is able to lock onto the Inferno Dragon. Hopefully the cage will be able to kill the Inferno Dragon, but looks like the Baby Dragon is already able to lock onto it. So that will definitely be tower, uh, tower down, guys. As you guys see, Baby Dragon is still quite healthy. So in this case, not having the Zap definitely hurt us. Also, maybe a little bit too aggressive with the Lava Hound. Also, um, of course, not having Inferno Dragon to be able to kill the Giant. Kind of like um, yeah, situation of multiple things which didn't really go our way. But we can still win, guys. Of course, we are actually having a beatdown deck. Um, so as soon as double elixir hits, we might be able to make a really strong push. Let's see what he does though. So I will actually pressure with a baby dragon. Looks like he uh, decides to go, yeah, with his sparky. So I'll actually, um, okay, I will kind of do something crazy, guys. But I will actually go with the inferno dragon right now. And if he actually ends up going for the all in push, I will actually focus on um, the three count. So let's actually go with guards over here. Looks like the inferno dragon is able to get a lot of value. Let's actually go with arrows. Um, for the barbarians, arrows actually do quite a lot of damage as you guys see to the barbarians. Let's actually go with a miner. Looks like he goes with his tornado. He might actually okay. Looks like he goes with his um giant. Let's go with inferno dragon over here, guys. Let's go with guards as soon as we can. Looks like he goes with his baby dragon. Hmm, not sure if we will be able to throw on over here to be honest. Inferno dragon is able to get a lot of value, but nice step on his part. And the baby dragon splash was able to kill all the guards, was able to kill the baby dragon. So, unfortunately, looks like we might lose. I think arrows would actually kill both of those units or almost kill. Uh, yeah, both of those units looks like he goes with a sparky in the back. So, definitely interesting play on his part. Not sure why he dropped the sparky in the back. Let's actually go with lava. Let's actually go with a baby dragon, but I don't think there will be time, guys. Only eight seconds left. No way we'll be able to deal so much damage with the lava on there. Um, Miner actually gets caught, uh, gets, gets caught by the guards, excuse me, um, and that will be a loss. So unfortunately, we will do end, the, uh, end of the episode with a loss. Let's give it a good game, let's give it a well played, and let's give it a thumbs up. So still a really nice episode, guys, even though we did lose um, against the Sparky deck. So I guess that's definitely, yeah, kind of like, um, how to say, negative point about having arrows in this deck. Of course, we don't right now have a Zap um, or anything to retarget the Sparky. But I think with the right cycle, and maybe if we waited until Double Elixir, we actually would have been able to defend it. Especially with, for example, Cage to be able to block uh, a Sparky shot. So I definitely think Sparky is um, not necessarily like a hard counter, but it can definitely struggle a little bit more against uh, Sparky right now with arrows in this deck. But I think in general, arrows are definitely really solid in this deck. So feel free to try this deck out, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys uh, yeah, could learn something from it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.